All right, guys. BLM here. Uh, back with a new live stream. Hopefully, it doesn't die tonight. That, that would be lovely if the stream didn't die tonight. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously, if you were here for the last stream, you would know uh, how disastrous that was, where my uh, internet was complete shit. Um, and it should be good <laughs> right now. Like, I literally just... Oh, wait, I need to check the audio. Just make sure the settings aren't fucked. Okay, I think we're good. Um, yeah, um, so obviously last stream was really bad. Obviously, we have Survivor to talk about. Um, is there anything else? Challenge? <laughs> Who fucking cares? Uh, to be honest, we have a lot of, like, small news to talk about, but, like, not much major stuff for, except for uh, Survivor. But, um... Yeah, um... We're gonna continue on Judgment, even though most people didn't even see... Uh, what I was even doing, though, who fucking cares? Who cares about this game? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm just hoping stream doesn't die. I have streamed a couple days on my own to see if how it goes, and it went really well on Monday. It went pretty shit at a point on <laughs> Tuesday, uh, but it was, for the most part, strong, so I'm hoping tonight it holds up, um, which we'll probably talk about those streams in a second. Um, as well, but, um, yeah, um, hopefully everything goes okay. Um, what was I going to talk about? There was something else I was going to bring up. Eh, whatever. Uh, we'll just continue on. Uh, am I going to do mid-season power ranking this week? Um, I thought about this for a while. Um, I've decided no, and I was going to. Uh, my intention was, like, the time that they mention it on the, um, next time on, that I was going to do mid-season power ranking... I just feel like it's way too early. Like, it just doesn't feel right to me to do the mid-season power ranking now. Even though we do, like, again, they did tease emerge. Um, but I don't really feel super... Oh, that's uh, that's what I was going to mention, by the way, about the stream. Um, so I did do some things to make sure the stream doesn't crash this time. Uh, I did restart um, PS5 before I started, and also I did lower the quality of the stream... Uh, because I was streaming at 1080, I have decided to lower it to 720, just to hopefully not get the stream crashing all the time like it did last time, so that is the thing. Um, but all right, back to the mid-season power ranking. Uh, I think I'm gonna wait a week, and actually, I've done a lot of, like, minor adjustments, uh, to the schedule, uh, in the last week or so, or we, we in the last few days or so, um, but with this mid-season power ranking, it made me decide to do it even more, so... Um, initially my Final Tribal Council ranking was supposed to come out this Saturday. I've decided to bump that till, um, for two weeks, essentially. And this Saturday will instead be my Predicting Jeff Probst's Least Favorite Player video. Um, that'll come out this Saturday. Next Saturday will be the Midseason Power Ranking. Um, just because, again, I feel like it's too early for Mid-Season Power Ranking, and we don't even 100% know it's going to be a merge. Like, from the way they set it up in the preview... Where am I going? I'm going uh, but yeah, from the way they set it up in the preview, I'm not... Like, I'm thinking there's going to be, like, some weird thing where it's, like... I don't know if it'll be, like, some sort of, a, like, a Fiji twist, where, like, half the people go to Tribal, or it'll be something like... Um, uh, two tribes, like, they live at one camp, but then, like, the two tribes go to tribal or whatever. Um, like, stuff like that. Like, I don't expect it to be a traditional merge next episode, so I, I, I am gonna hold off. Um, and to be honest, like, I don't have enough knowledge of the dynamics to really do a proper mid-season power ranking right now, anyway. Um, like, I feel like, because there's no swap, that really messes with things. To where, even if I were to do a mid-season power ranking, it would just be all over the place. Where, um, I just don't feel like I can properly assess where the game is going, um, at this point. So, again, uh, I'm gonna hold off a week. So, there's that. Um... Great episode. I thought it was a fine episode. I'm like, I, I felt like this was a very clear really genie boot. I, I felt like it was very clear that they were doing everything they can to make you think that uh, genie wasn't going home. Like kind of in the way that like old Survivor used to do it, where like, there were like a lot of um, dumb fake outs and stuff. I felt like this was the same thing. Like I never thought genie wasn't going home. Um, so, I mean, that was kind of like, eh, to me. Um, I think we did get interesting dynamics set up for the future. 
But I think as the episode itself, it was just kind of a That's meh episode. Um, yeah, advantage is weird. The knowledge, um, what was it, knowledge of power, is that what it's called? Uh, I don't think it's worse than I don't nullifier, but I think it's bad, though. I'm like, I'm very mixed on it. Like, I don't like the aspect of them having to ask someone else if they have an idol or an advantage, and then if they're right, they get it. Um, like, I think the asking part, like, that just seems kind of dumb to me. Um... Then, like, just the concept of stealing idols and stuff like that, I feel like benefits the majority more often than uh, the minority. As I think it's much more likely for people in the majority to know uh, where the advantages are distributed than people in the minority. Plus, also, people in the majority um, usually have, like smaller like there's obviously less people for them to pick up from sure. so it makes it more likely that they're going to uh Good pick to correctly go. so like i don't love that and that's like the same issue that i have with the idol nullifier i'm mean, too fair idol nullifier is just fucking dumb like the idol nullifier is the, like one of the worst advantages in history the show, where like it like the best case scenario is that it stops a massive blind side like that's literally the best case scenario for idol nullifier like i don't get why like anyone even thought that idol nullifier was a good idea um but whatever yeah, this is better than that, but it's still, like, Maybe not ideal for me. Yeah, love the uh, Nasir Idol moment. Uh, thought that was uh, really well handled in the edit. I, I did like... Because, like, I, I was thinking, uh, wow, like, no one's on... Uh, no one in Luvu is finding this idol. And then, uh, yeah, all of a sudden we just get a flashback with Nasir. Uh, so that was fun. Uh, yeah, editors screwed me over. Yeah, I mean, they typically do. Uh... People saying it's a go fish advantage. I mean, it, like, it's, it's not too dissimilar, right? Anything else you want to ask? Uh, Universal Monster DVD box that came. Yeah, I, I also got a, a whole bunch of stuff in the mail. Uh, what was it yesterday? Where I did talk about that I bought some PS5 games Game and Fly. stuff from Gamefly. So I got Ratchet and Clank. Got um. Oh. Um, fuck, what was the other one? Resident Evil Village, Scarlet Nexus, Oddworld Soulstorm, and one more. Returnal. Returnal. So I got all of those. Um, what happened the last stream? Um, yeah, it's just my internet was complete shit. Again, before this stream, I did take a lot more precautions to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Like, it, there's still a chance. I mean, like, uh, realistically, it's like my internet is not the rudest. Um at point like it's weird because like it's it's perfect so most of the time and then like there's usually like one night a week where like all of a sudden it just goes to shit for some reason um and like i've just gotten lucky that it hasn't happened on a day that i stream but um I, i'm not expecting it to go wrong tonight i mean right now stream's super strong uh like pretty high bit rate everything's going well um i did restart my ps5 before doing so see if that was something that because i hadn't restarted my ps5 in like a few weeks like since pretty much like pretty much since i got it uh before last stream so i've been doing that and then i also uh lowered the stream quality from 1080 to 720 and hopefully that also works out so yeah um did a few things to try to avoid that from happening again if it happens it happens like i mean like there's not much i can really do um but again Trying to avoid it. Uh, do I still think uh, Evie is a decoy winner? Now. Yes. Uh, I think Evie and uh, Shan are both decoy winners. Um, I, I, at this point, I am... I, I'm still... I'm still leaning towards Tiffany. I'm not 100%, though. Uh, I'm a bit confused about Liana's storyline right now, where, like... The way I see Liana going... Because, again, like I feel like last episode with the Yase thing whatever the uh, scene with the turtles and everything i felt like that was very much foreshadowing that if um oh yeah you're uh yeah it's not saying this is a malicious site or whatever so that's good or a malicious stream whatever but yeah um so yeah i feel like a yase member is if not gonna win at least make it very very far and play a game that is like two of them that is propped up by the edit um, I'd say there was probably and obviously that leaves us with four people. Uh, I don't think I feel like this episode. I I think Xander's dead. In the I, I don't think there's any chance Xander wins the game. Even if he gets to the end, I, I just don't think he wins. Uh, it's just it's 
like it's he's getting an edit where he's getting content only when he's absolutely necessary Who's and then now even change? like when it, he is being shown he's being shown in a negative light um and shown like being undermined by the edit like i just think there's no chance he's not winning um more so because he's one of those brutes then again Evie feels like a decoy but winner sure so then at that point we're down to tiffany and liana and i did not feel great about liana uh what was it a couple episodes ago where she was talking about the xander like keeping xander around and like not wanting uh you have an alibi I mean, she wanted to like Tell take risk and then guy. immediately afterwards she gets undermined by her not taking the risk to go on the uh um advantage or whatever or to go on the island um is that a new thing it literally says first time chat for viewer. That's really weird. Um, hey, Declan. Yeah, new here. Yeah, um, what do I think of the episode? Again, I thought it was fine. Um, I think the last, I don't know, everyone loved the last episode. And I feel so weird being like on the offset of that. Like where like, oh, that was not the right word. Either way, um, like I, I did not, like last episode was okay to me. Like I didn't love it as much as everyone else did. But um, I thought, like I still think this is a good season so far. I'm really enjoying the season as a whole. Um, I, I think we're getting a lot of setup to potential um, fun stuff moving forward. I, I think once we get to the merge, it should be very fun. Uh, I think right now we're kind of in a waiting game of like yeah. getting there, or even next up, like in next so episode. If like I don't expect we're gonna get the full blown merge, but I'm expecting we're gonna get some sort of twist that uh, may cause a fun tribal. Again, I've always been saying that. Like even months back, I've been saying that we're gonna probably get. Um, a uh like the penultimate tribal before the merge was going to be a joint tribal where two tribes go uh two of the three tribes go to tribal together like the malcolm boot and the wendy boot like that's why i'm expecting though it didn't seem like it was a proper setup based on what we've seen in the preview but um i would still suspect something like that is going to happen next episode so um I think that could be a fun episode. I think that'll be a fun episode. I think, again, like I think from the merge on, I think we are we're set up for a really fun season, uh, with pretty much everyone here playing hard. Especially now that Genie's gone, like I feel like Genie was like the least interesting player left in the game to me. I mean, maybe Heather and yeah, I, it's really only Heather. I mean, I think everyone else is a uh, is a player. I'm really interested in seeing how they end up playing. I, I just realized I went the wrong way, um, but. Yeah, um, I think we're set up for a really strong season here, uh, post-merge. But I do feel like this and the last episode have been kind of just like, eh, to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did get confirmation on Strand Survivors, Blood vs. Water, which I mean, we knew. Though, interestingly, we did get the official um, word that it is going to be full-blown Blood vs. Water. That it is going to be every, um, like, every person on the cast is going to have a relative which again that was up for like that was not super clear uh before this which is mind-blowing because you would think it would be if it's blood versus water but again there was this rumor that it was going to be a tribe of blood versus water and a tribe of like normal people which would have been fucking weird uh the question now is like who is sandra going to be paired up with is it going to be like her um is it going to be her like uh daughter like she has a old daughter that's old enough now right like, I know that was who she was in contention in the first Blood vs. Water in the U.S. Uh, but, like, she was, like, too young or something at the time. Um, so, I don't know if that's going to be a thing. Excuse me. But... You work here? Yeah. yeah. Come on in, friend. Spoiler... I, I don't trust anything. Spoiler girl. <laughs> Mind if I ask you uh, says, You're like, I, I think it's mind-blowing me that anyone actually, like, uh, believes what Spoiler Girl says, considering they've been proven false thing. so many times. Uh, and, like, literally, the, my first, like, thing that I've seen from them uh, was, like, I, what was it? Was it Dave vs. Goliath? I don't remember. One of the Survivor seasons, they tried to spoil, and they were just outright wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, I wouldn't trust anything. But I would not be surprised if Boston Rob is in consideration for Celebrity Big Brother 3. Uh, again, the thing with Spoiler Girl now is that they're just saying the obvious things. Like, they're just saying, like, what you would normally expect and things that can't be proven. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, her husband, how old? Well, I, mean, I guess her husband's probably around her age, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm that in I feel like I'll be more interested in seeing Sandra's daughter than her husband. Um, but anyway, I mean, it should be interesting either way. I mean, uh, again, don't know how well it will go. <laughs> um, 
cops mentioned something kind of. Oh, it's gonna be Krista. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. That would be weird. I mean, what, what was the um? Because they did list out the different types of pairings, right? Which like, it's so weird that they um like specifically in that press release, they said I'm trying to look it up right now. Fuck. I guess I need to look up Australian Survivor. But, um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they, like, mention, like, all these uh, relationships uh, tied by blood or going against each other. And then they mention in-laws, which is, like, I'm pretty sure that's, like, the complete opposite. I, I'm pretty sure in-laws literally means that they're not blood. Uh, but, I mean, I guess that's a straight line survivor for you. Or I guess really that's, like, blood versus water for you where uh, they tr really try to... I mean, just the concept of, Like, it was hilarious, too, in the original Blood versus Water where, like, Rupert says... Uh, me and Laura are blood. <laughs> uh, when it's like, that's literally not what you are, but whatever. Um, yeah, uh, either way. Uh, you guys don't uh, have a security camera? It should be interesting Something to see who's on there. Again, like, obviously, like, we know Sam and Mark are going to be on there. Uh, we know Sandra. We know some other, like, random, like, D list celebrities. Um, but we don't know the full blown cast yet. So. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, Spoiler Girl Sorry is, from what I understand, accurate when it comes to the soap operas and stuff. But I think she has no source in terms of reality TV. Uh, and she's just doing it for the publicity. Uh, because, like, she's... I don't think there's been a single point where she's been right, where she's the only one to have that information. Um, where, like, it wasn't, like, her getting it from another person who also leaked that information. Uh, or her making, like, just a very, like... Bl like a guess that uh, was pretty obvious to most people. Where am I going? Not there. Is it here? I don't know what I'm doing. Whatever. Um, Did you see a Yakuza head into yeah. Sonic Go 10 the night of the uh, I, I believe Benji and Annalise are deconfirmed, kind of. Uh, not officially, but I believe Matt from 2016 has said that they're not on. Which, I, I mean, I, I would kind of like. Obviously, it's not like a for sure thing, but like, I mean, You're back? I feel like so more than likely they're not on. Um, okay, yeah, BBAU VIP has been confirmed. That's another thing that I changed the schedule. So I, I haven't fully gone through what I changed on the schedule. Um, so as I said, um, this weekend was going to be my final travel council ranking. I did bump that a bit uh, due to um, one. It's like okay, well, if I bump it to where I'm going to bump it. Essentially, that means it comes up back to back to back with the other Final Travel uh, Council videos, like the winning Final Travel Council performance, losing Final Travel Council uh, fi losing Final Tribal Council performance. God damn. Um, but yeah, it, like those will come up back to back to back, and I feel like I'd rather have it that way at this point. That and also, I don't feel like I need a like a big, big video. Like The thing is, like the, like, the Final Tribal Council video was going to be like my big video for the month. Um... In terms of like runtime, at least like I don't know how well it'll perform. I'm not expecting it to perform that well, uh, but it, like it was gonna be like my because I usually try to make it like one big video a month, typically. Hey, um, I'm looking for info. But I don't feel like I need that anymore. To be honest, this month has uh, I'll be, like again Seriously, this month has performed like better than expected. I mean, the two Big Brother though. videos performed well. <laughs> um, the BB2 player ranking is performing better than it should. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like, uh, and then, like, I, the Jeff Probst's least favorite player video, I don't think that will do that much differently than the final Tribal Council video, so, and then, like, we're also going to have the Mid-Season Power Ranking uh, next Saturday, which is going to be the, uh, it's the last day of October, but either way, it's still winning in October, so it's like, like, I feel like I'm good, I, I feel like I might as well switch it up, uh, so I did that, I did also add Big Brother VIP to the schedule, which uh, made me bump the Amazing Race video a little bit again. <laughs> but it's still coming out this year. Uh, but the recasting Amazing Race 8 video did get bumped to December. Um, but it's still coming out this year. Again, like for the rest of this year is pretty locked in in terms of what videos are coming out. Uh, it's just a matter of the exact timing of things. But yeah, um, so I did bump that. Um, I guess that's really the only like important changes that people actually care about. I mean, a couple of video game videos got moved a bit, but no one really cares. So, and that's something. Yeah, uh, Big Brother VIP, though, should be interesting. Uh, I'm not, to be honest, I'm not real. like, I, I was really excited for it when we got the cast. I'm not as excited for it right now, if I'm being honest, but, um, 
whatever. I'll still cover it. I already said I was going to, so. And I, I'm gonna watch it anyway, so it's like, whatever. Um, who am I fighting? Okay, there we go. Uh, Amazing Race 33 confirmed? Did it? Yeah, I, I haven't been paying attention too, too much to stuff today. Uh, I have been, I was, I've been pretty busy today, actually, uh, up until the afternoon. Let's see, Amazing Race 33. Yeah, so it's filming again, at least, according to this. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's uh, early 2022. I would, I, like, I would guess it's probably gonna be like, mm, like I don't know, like because like Survivor's gonna start relatively late, right? Because like of the Olympics, like it can't start right away, so it's not gonna be until like the very, very end of February or like March. Uh, so like, is Amazing Race gonna start then? Like that feels a bit early if they're still filming it now. Um, like, I would guess it probably starts after that. I, I would guess, like, maybe May. But, we'll see. We'll see. Um, when do you think we'll see the first Shot in the Dark? I don't know. I mean, like, again, I like the Shot in the Dark as a twist. Though it is a very circumstantial twist. Because, like, giving up your vote is, especially on this season, is a very, uh... What am I doing? Again, like, giving up your vote is pretty powerful in these small tribes. Which is kind of why I don't like that part of it. But, um, because, like, it's never going to be used unless you 100% know you're fucked. And in the modern day of Survivor, you're very rarely going to know that you're 100% fucked. Because there's so much intermingling. Am I supposed to go up here? No, I'm not. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. I, I, I could see the entire season going without us ever getting a shot in the dark, if I'm being honest. But, I mean, like, but if we had it in... Like, Winners at War. Like, Adam for sure would have played it, right? Uh, on the boot that he goes home. But I feel like, outside of that, was there even another situation where the person 100% for sure knew they were going home to the point where they would have uh, banked more so on a 1 in 6 chance than an actual Excuse me. Uh, vote? I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who stopped by Sonico 10. Is it already finished filming? How the fuck did they finish filming Amazing Race 33? This is the guy. Name's Hamura. I can't say I know him. There's uh, do we know if Survivor's going to continue twice a year? I would guess they're going to do twice a year. I, I don't see why. If they're doing twice a year, like if they film 41, 42 back to back, no fucking way they're going to uh, go back down the once a year after that. Like, uh, I feel like for sure we're getting two a year. All this on the night of the incident. But when I went to check things out, the Yakuza was long gone. Host would just stand in there uh, what do you think of the Nasir review? I thought it was fun. I, I, I really like them playing with the editing of the show, uh, and uh, was. I do like the flashbacks. Yeah. I mean, they all kind of have that pretty boy look. Doubt I'd be able to recognize but, uh, him if he I think we also got confirmation of Amazing Race. Uh, else know about this? I don't know. Australia coming back, right? Which, like, I don't know. If, like, I'm just probably not going to bother with, to Thanks be honest. Like, I, I, there was definitely a time where I would have been like more into doing. Uh, international Amazing Race, but I feel like at the point that I'm at now, like I barely even want to cover Amazing Race US, let alone uh, International Amazing Race. So, uh, yeah, probably not. I'm not seeing anywhere where Phil Kogan has confirmed this. I, I see it confirmed for next year, but I don't see anywhere that he's confirmed that they've finished filming or anything. Uh, but whatever. Uh, Amazing Race Australia 2 is one of the best seasons of Amazing Race ever. Is that the one with Sam, or was she on season 1? Or was she not even on any of those? <laughs> like, I, I know she was on one of those seasons. Sam from Australian Survivor. Uh, that was on, that didn't get an edit. <laughs> uh, how about Ricard not giving the extra vote back? Uh, good for him. I mean, it would have been idiotic for him to do so. <laughs> uh, like... Again, like, it's insane to me that Shan even tried. Considering, again, like, I, my read on the situation is that I don't think Shan ever considered getting rid of, um, of Ricard. Like, I, I think this was a locked-in vote. I don't think there was any chance that th this was ever happening. But for her to actually, like, bother asking him, um, for the, um, 
for the fucking extra vote back. Like, that's insane to me. Like, that, uh, I, I feel like that's a major red flag for Ricard moving forward to where, uh, yeah, I mean, like, I mean, but to be fair, it's like, what else was he going to do at this point? It's like, um, but I mean, I think if anything, that should have, like, like, if he could have gotten Genie on board, like, that should have, like, made him even, at least here. considered getting rid of Shan. Left hours ago. But it's like, I by going to Genie, you risk Genie going back to Shan, and uh, it fucks up. Uh, it's not worth it, but still, it's like, I felt like that was a terrible move uh, to even bother asking for the advantage, especially when she didn't even, like, really consider getting rid of him. Um, but yeah. He wants me to scrounge up some evidence. Uh, what else do we got here? You got this from Genda? I thought it was all about uh, BB2 player ranking was good. Uh, interesting, I had Will above Hardy. Yeah. I don't remember why anymore. <laughs> Again, this video was made like six months ago. Like this is like this video was made back to back with the uh, with the retrospective. Um. You mean that? So like this has been in the back burner for a while. Just drop by the jail to see him. Yeah, I believe at this point, all the videos that are coming out soon were made a lot more recently. Yeah, within within three months at least. Uh, except for the Kiru Saga ranking, which obviously everyone's so excited for, uh, that comes out next Wednesday. That was all made like around the same time as the uh, BB2 video. Yeah, everything else was made uh, in August, pretty much. Not him. Um, but yeah, so since the last time I streamed, though, I have edited a few videos, um, mostly videos that people don't care about, but, uh, I got my near retrospectives done, I got the Plague Tale retrospective done, and I'm ready to edit my top 25 games to generation video, which has been a long time coming. Um, but yeah, that one will be coming out in December, so I want to get that one done soon. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. <laughs> um... So yeah, I, I'm going to try to, like, my ideal world would be finishing the top 25 games of generation video before uh, Wednesday of next week. Use Wednesday of next week to What's up, um, Morning, sunshine. to work on the challenge review, which I didn't get much time to work on today, just because I was pretty busy for most of the day. And then um, Another impromptu Friday, obviously, mid-season power ranking. So that would be the ideal schedule for me in terms of working on the channel. But uh, we'll see if it happens. Interesting tw top 25 games in generation. I mean, yeah, I I've been working, like, I've been working towards this video for so fucking long at this point. <gasps> like, literally when I started the stream series, uh, like, when I started the st stream channel, um, like, that's essentially what I started it for. At least was one of the things, was to play these games that I knew I was going to um, talk about in that video. So, and that was six months ago now. By the way, this is, uh, I think we're at the six month anniversary of the channel, uh, of this Twitch stream. Uh, if not, maybe like a couple days off, but anyway, we're close. Uh, so, yeah, again, like, this has been a long time coming that I've been trying to get this video together. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, it's also interesting within this year idol thing. Like, I'm also interested, like, wh why did it take him so long, too? Like, the other two found it, like, within the first few days, right? I mean, like, Xavier pretty much... Or Xavier, fuck me. Xander found it pretty much right away. Um, was it Brad found it, what, like, day five, right? Day five or day six, somewhere around there? Um, day six, I think it was day six. So, like, why the fuck did it take Nasir, like, ten days to find this thing? But, whatever. Uh, oh yeah, challenge was solid. Um, I don't know. It wasn't my favorite. Episode. I felt like last episode was much stronger to me. Really, the last wasn't the last couple episodes. I don't know. I th I, th I think we've had like a decent string of challenge episodes, actually, despite me not loving this season of the challenge. But uh, I felt like this was probably the weakest one in a few weeks. But I think this is, was still a stronger episode than uh, some of those early season ones i mean like again like i'm i worked a little bit on the challenge script i'm up to episode four on the script and it's like hey over here like it does like it's Take not a good season to me. <laughs> um like for most of it right 
So anyway, yeah. Oh yeah. So I, I haven't talked about that. I, I think Sydney for sure is uh, the merch booth at this point. Uh, I like again. Like I, I've been waiting so, for a loop. I, I thought Lou was gonna lose before. today too. Didn't happen. Um, I think at this point her edit makes sense if she's the merge boot. Um, her being the person that uh, because again the merge boot uh, in terms of edic typically does get consistent edit. It does typically get a consistent edit um, throughout the pre merge. So that like it kind of starts off the merge with a bit of a bang in terms of like we lose a big player. I feel like that is Sydney at this point. I, I feel like Sydney is the merge boot, but and also we got the setup from Tiffany about Tiffany not liking Sydney. We also see people within her own tribe not like her. Uh, I, I feel like to me it seems like that's probably where we're going. The poor bastard getting dragged um, into the club. Thought on challenge All Stars two cast. Um, All Stars two is fine. All Stars 3, I think, is a lot more interesting. Uh, by the way, I did not do that. I talked about this last stream, if anyone Spends heard like me, uh, that I did uh, want to do a uh, cast reaction for All Stars 3. Uh, I did not end up going through with it, uh, mainly because I ended up being busier than I wanted to be, and also I wanted to get this Top 25 Games of Generation video done at some point, so I decided not to delay it anymore. But um, yeah, so I did not end up making that video, but All Stars 2, I mean, I think it's a solid cast. It's not as interesting to me as All Stars 1. And I, I, I think All Stars 3 is also like way more interesting. All Stars 3 is like the most interesting cast of the three to me. Um, but All Stars 2, like it's fine. I mean, uh, there's definitely some people there that I was excited to see back. Why can't I just look like I'm trying to look up the fucking cast? Uh, why is it so hard to find the cast here? There we go. Uh, there's a lot of people that, not a lot, but like, there's definitely people here that I don't know. We're like coming into All Stars One. I'm trying to think, like, who did I straight up not know? Like, I don't think there were that many. Like, I think Arissa. And I, is that it? In tech, uh, I didn't know. I think I knew everyone else. Um, I mean, yes, I hadn't seen a season of, but like I knew of him. Like season two here, uh, like I have no clue who Ayana is uh i don't know who leia is i don't know who sophia is uh, i don't know who steve is um and there's also like a couple other people that i'm just like why are they bad like people like derek chavez like why is derek chavez here um like i'm melinda like initially it like, was kind of like a eh. ryan another one that's kind of like eh but uh like i'm not like in love with this cast but i don't hate it either um, like it's fine and we'll see how it goes but uh oh yeah kendall i did not know kendall i mean i knew of kendall but i didn't uh i hadn't watched a season with kendall so similar to yes um like i have i had heard of her though but, but yeah i mean like looking at the all stars two casts again like brad fine whatever um like a decently big name god is cool Everyone like I, I like god uh, so at least that's something. Darrell, we just we saw him in three seasons in a row now of All Stars One and Wait, Double Agents, but whatever, he's back here and he's gonna be back for All Stars Three. Uh, Derek Kaczynski, whatever. Latarian, I like Latarian. Uh, happy to see him back. MJ, I'm really happy to see MJ back. I do really like MJ. Uh, Nehemiah, I do like. Again, Ryan, whatever. Um, Steve, don't know who he is. Tech, fine. Uh, Tyler is interesting, um, just because I feel like he's one of these people that's, like, always, uh, talked about as, uh, uh like an underrated challenge competitor and stuff, but, um, it'll, it'll be interesting to see how he does here. Um, again, don't know Ayana, I think I missed over Derek Chavez when I ran through everyone there, but whatever, who cares. Casey, said he threw cool, I guess, I mean, like, I like Casey, but again, she's not gonna win. Uh, Janelle is interesting, I'm interested to see Janelle back. Um, right. But I want to where, like, wasn't she, like, the last, like, person of color, like, That's female winner until Amber B or something? Like, wasn't that, like, a ridiculous stat? Um, yeah, Jasmine, again, never gonna win, but I, I like her as a character. Jody is cool. Um, see them bring her back. Jeanne. Initially, I was upset, but at this point, I don't really care. Um, like, initially, I was upset that, like, they brought her back after I felt like her arc ended perfectly after All Stars 1. But now she's also back for All Stars 3. It's like, who really gives a shit at this point? Like, whatever. Uh, Katie, why? I, like, I love Katie, but it's like, I don't think she needs to be back. Like, she did nothing on All Stars 1. Um, and, like, clearly just didn't even want to play the game. So it's like, why are we bringing her back? Uh, Kendall's cool. Uh, I like Kendall. Leia, know nothing about her. Melinda, whatever. 
Um, and then Sophia, don't know anything about her. And Tina's awesome. Uh, really cool to get Tina back. So that's a quick rundown there. Uh, do they include diversity cast for Amazing Race 32? Um, I, I, I didn't pay attention, if I'm being honest. I don't know. Like, are they going to have the diversity stuff for 33, though? I think that's interesting. Um, yeah, like, I really like Shanae. Like, Shanae is, like, probably one of my favorite challenge competitors. Uh, in terms of, like, a person and, like, a personality and stuff. Like, I, I really like her. Uh, but it's, like, uh, I don't know. Like, I, I felt like after one, I didn't really need to see her again. Though, um, again, like, it's whatever. Who cares at this point? Yeah, I'm Katie's a staple. Like, Katie is a legend, but she's also a legend that doesn't give a shit. <laughs> so it's like, it's like we had her back already for All Stars 1. I feel like we got what we needed from her there. Uh, I feel like having her back now to where she, like, clearly, like, just gives up in All Stars 1, it's like, why are we bringing her back? Um, and it's not even, like, and she's, like, mellowed out as a personality, too. Like, outside of her fight with Trishel, she doesn't really bring anything to the table. I would have been more interested to see Trishel back than uh, Katie. But. Whatever. Is Spice TJ Wonder back? I don't think TJ matters. <laughs> uh, in all honesty. Wait, 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 wait. How do I not know this exists? All right, you, you just posted a link to a Google Drive with all the challenge episodes. Uh, this actually has a few that I haven't watched, so I might actually uh, use this. Thanks for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, holy shit. Again, like, I haven't watched a lot of the earlier seasons, just because, like, I couldn't find All-Stars 1, or, all, I, I couldn't see, find Season 1, um, and, like, Season 2 I couldn't find either. And there were a couple other earlier seasons that, like, were a bit f tough to find, like, all together, so, yeah, maybe I'll get around to it at some point. <laughs> um, Beth coming back, yeah, for All-Stars 3, right? Which, that's cool. Again, like, she's going to be back with Tina. Uh, that should be interesting to see. Uh, yeah, in terms of TJ, though, uh, like, I'm pretty sure TJ has no influence on the casting. Uh, again, like, TJ is like, like, Julie Chen to Big Brother, where, like, she's there, uh, but, like, has no actual say in terms of what production does. Uh, like, I'm pretty sure that's the same thing with TJ. Where's the security camera? Uh-huh. Oh, there. <laughs> Wait, is that not the one I'm looking for? Um, where am I, what am I, oh, okay, it's around here. Is it, that's not it. Where is this thing? Like, it vibrated when I went over here. It's like, I'm assuming it's around here. Oh. Oh, it's right there, I'm a fucking idiot. Uh. There we go. So, obviously, I would be very good at finding idols, if you can't tell. Um... Yeah, I do know. All right, we're back. Um, I don't know what's going on <laughs> because my internet is perfectly fine. Like I'm literally like I, I've literally just tested my internet and everything is fine. Um, so I don't know if this is a PS5 thing. Hmm. A bit unsure exactly. We'll see what happens here. <laughs> uh. Because again, it kept on disconnecting over and over again, so hopefully, uh, this sticks. We'll see. Um, yeah, when are we gonna get a what if video? Um, I not until next year, but I, I have two already recorded, so we're gonna get a couple next year. Um, 
Which again, I've always wanted to do Big Brother What If videos. I just never really found the right time on the schedule to do them. But uh, now that BB... And also because BB23 was going on, so I couldn't really make a video about uh, Big Brother What Ifs that didn't involve... Um, or that did involve, like, every season until after BB23 was done. So, yeah, now I've done a few. So, uh, it'll you? be coming out at some point. Um, I, it still says my stream's on stable. I don't know why the fuck my internet's so shit all of a sudden. <sighs> Whatever. We'll see how this goes. Uh, just because we're getting a lot of bets. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, <laughs> I mean, off, man. yeah, I, I was thinking about, like, Sarah manager. Beth and then uh, Beth from BB Can, but yeah, I didn't think about Holly. Manager, huh? Everyone's favorite Beth. Is him? Um, by the way, I did oh, I did pop is. into uh, oh, Sarah Beth's uh, live stream to today where she was playing Among me. Us, so that's something. Uh, she's currently streaming, so that's something. Uh, I knew this was gonna happen. He never has his phone on during the day. He usually hangs out. Well, they win Final Four veto and then Final Three HOH. Um, I one of the yeah, video videos I did record was a. Right. Um, what was it? What if? I, really, no. it's like kind of separating those two ideas, dude. Like no, the the two that I recorded so are um, what if final jurors won final H O H, which is like kind of the obvious Should one to do, and fun. then I also huh. did so, what if every season. Okay, I guess this is actually the opposite. I forgot about that. Okay, this one's uh, what if every season didn't have a final four veto. So I guess that's kind of the opposite of that. But either way, um, yeah, I, I think that's definitely one to do in the future, though. Again, kind of similar to. Uh, my final five boot one, where you, you still got to play it like a couple rounds. Um, okay, stream's back. Uh, I'm looking at my bit rate. It's fine. It's really good. I don't know why it went down. <laughs> uh, fuck me. Uh, by the way, I haven't talked about this. Um, so, oh, wait, do I prefer Final 2 or Final 3? Uh, Final 2, by a lot. Like, uh... Even though Final 3s can lead to more satisfying outcomes for seasons, um, and even then it's not even 100%, uh, I, I do feel like Final 2s are more indicative of like a genuine game to where you're literally like running it down to the last possible opportunity uh, to where like you can't vote out another person at that point. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing with... Um, yeah, yeah, with Survivor, that's the reason I haven't done it with Final 4 on Survivor, just because it's kind of weird. <laughs> Uh, like, I wouldn't be opposed to doing that video, but it's also, like, it would be a really short one, too, because there's only, what, like, how many seasons have a final two? There's, what, 12, and then three more after that, right? So 15. So it's, like, I feel like it wouldn't be super, um, like, it's not, like, an idea that I, like, I, I feel like I need to do right away. Like, I for sure will probably do it at some point, but, um... Yeah, I don't know exactly how to title that video, though. Like, what if Final Four Boots won immunity? Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. Whatever. Oh, hey, Ja. Uh, stream just crashed a second ago, so obviously this is a, a great <laughs> uh, time for you to jump in. Um, rank first jurors for Big Brother? Uh, that is definitely a plan at some point. Uh, but, oh, fuck, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, but not immediate. Uh, do I think BB Can or BB US is better strate overall strategically? I think BB US is better strategically. Um, the problem with Big Brother US is that the current format has kind of been gamed to where, like, Derek essentially broke the game. Where like, like the entire um, strategy behind uh, the uh, bomb squad and then the detonators and then. Um, like a lining of all the competition beasts and all that stuff. It's like that essentially broke the game. Uh, so like, it's like, I feel like we're more likely to see like better strategic play on big brother, but also like more boring strategic play uh, because it's like, everyone knows what to do at this point. Like everyone knows what the ideal strategy is. This is in judgment. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking it's from uh, like a dragon, this area. Or is it also in, like, I mean, I guess it's very likely it's also in, like, a dragon. But, uh, yeah, I was thinking this was, uh, whatever. Where am I going? I guess, wait, what? Here? Whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, I've heard about Big Brother VIP. 
uh, even adjusted my schedule accordingly. Because again, uh, I'm, I, it's going to be three weeks, right? I don't know if that's been confirmed or not. But... Say today. Wow. Uh, 128 hits. We're going to need to narrow down the search. So. Not sure what else um, should I? Do? You say the name hmm. of the club? Oh, is it gonna be two episodes a week? Some crazy French word. Interesting. Okay, oh, yeah. so I guess I need to adjust the schedule again. <laughs> um, so I probably have to bump it like two weeks, which is fine. Again, it doesn't really change that much. Well, looky uh, there. Narrowed it down to one. So Aragaki as long as it doesn't so end like nope. before December, song. like if it does, as long as it doesn't end the final week so of November, I'm kind of fine with it. Ago. So, maybe, maybe that's the thing. But yeah, I'm thinking right now, like, should I try a different there, game and just see if that changes went. things? Okay. <laughs> Why on earth would I do and, yeah, alright, what game should I play? Hmm, should I do, I don't want to do Last of Us, do I? Origins, which I guess I have something to say about, I have to copy it over. Um, hmm, 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 should I do Tony Hawk again? 